All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to post daily content on your Instagram page 100% on autopilot. This is the easiest AI agent to set up. It's gonna start posting fresh and unique content each day. It's going to land you onto the explore page where people are gonna click on your post, they're gonna read its content, and then they're gonna follow you and engage. So let me show you how to set it up. Stay tuned, this is a fun one. First step, you're gonna head on over to youraiagent.com. This is a web app that I'm building live on this channel, and it's a comprehensive business suite of AI agents. Enter your name, email address, password, and then click sign up. It's gonna drop you onto the settings page, and the first thing you wanna do is connect your Instagram profile. So click on the Instagram tab. Then you're gonna name your integration. I'm gonna go at Wes Deco. I'm gonna click connect Instagram. It's gonna take me to this OAuth consent screen. Click allow. It takes you back to your AI agent and connects your account. All right, now we can go to the home page. We want to use the filter on the left-hand side to select agents. And then we have the first one available, which is the Instagram agent. So this is an endless AI agent. You set it up once and then it posts daily content on your Instagram page forever. All right, it's gonna keep track of all of the previous posts everything it has written about, everything it has drawn, so that content never repeats. Fresh content for your followers and the Explore page every single day. Okay, click Start Now. There's a few things that I wanna show you on this Instagram agent page. So stay locked in here. We're gonna go over it once. You're gonna remember it forever, and then it's gonna be so easy for you to set this up. Let's quickly read about it first. Automatically create and post professional on-brand content to your Instagram page. To get started, we're gonna connect your Instagram account. Check, we already did that. We're gonna describe our business page. We're gonna provide three to 10 sample content examples so that the AI agent knows our tone, our style, what we want to create content about. We're gonna add an image prompt. We're gonna upload an optional reference image. This could also be a template or guide design, like fonts, colors, or styles. And then we're gonna create a caption prompt for the text beneath each post. Then we can choose our posting schedule time, when in the day do we like to make the post. And then we can also test our outputs before launching the AI agent to make sure everything's fine-tuned how we want it. And the really exciting thing is this AI agent uses the new C-Dream 4.0 image model to create the images. If you don't know what that is, it's the new ByteDance image model. ByteDance is the company behind TikTok. And if we go on LM Arena, we go to the leaderboards, we go to text to image. This C-Dream 4.0 model is sitting right at the top. Now it's a new model, so it doesn't have a lot of votes but it's performing as good, if not better, than Nano Banana. If you also want Nano Banana as an option for this Instagram agent, please write it in the comments below. I have no problem adding it. It would just take a few minutes, but for simplicity, we're gonna stick with this model. I've done some tests. I like the results of this model a tiny bit better. I feel it listens a bit more to our instructions, so I kept it as is. All right, here are a few examples of what this agent is capable of. So example number one, this example is a business quotes Instagram page. We fed it a template. So this was the template, a solid background, had some font. This last word has a yellow stripe going through it. And then the name of the page at the bottom. And then it fed it a brand new quote. It got all of the words right and then automatically posted it to the page. The next example is of an AI influencer. Now I've been talking about creating an agent for this for a while now. It's now possible with the Instagram agent. So we fed the AI agent a reference image of how the AI model looked. It was just a headshot and then it spat out a brand new Instagram post featuring said AI model. We have some hashtags at the bottom. Yeah, there's a spelling mistake in morning. These AI models are still not perfect, but we are so close. Look at this quality. And it remembers her in a coffee shop. So the next post is not gonna be her in a coffee shop. It might be her at a tennis match or at a gym or shopping at a mall. So you can leave this on autopilot and it will keep creating content with your AI influencer. The last example is cartoon style. This Instagram page posts about iconic business events in the United States, 
and one of them was Theranos, and it made a post about Theranos. Here is the cartoon image of that business event. We have false data at the bottom. We have that female CEO, I forget her name, but she's front and center in the image. And then we have their medical lab equipment broken down. I absolutely love this post. I feel like this post would get a ton of engagement on a business page, you know, teaching people about historical events. All right, those are three examples. There are literally hundreds of examples of how you can use this agent. It is completely generalized, so anything is possible. Any type of Instagram page you have, we can automate it. And let's start setting it up. What we're gonna do on this page is we're gonna set up the AI agent. We're gonna test its output first, and then we're gonna launch it live to our page. So the first step is you choose your Instagram connection. At the beginning of the video, I connected my Instagram profile. It's at Westego. And now we're gonna describe our page. So my page is a photography page. I like to post landscape, photography, architecture, cityscapes, and I've gotten about 12,000 followers doing that. So I wanna to continue to post that type of content because my followers like that content, but I'm sick of manually doing it myself, so I'm gonna get an AI agent to do it for me. In the default example I have here, I made a quote template on Canva. I downloaded that template. I uploaded it as a reference image. I gave it a couple quote examples, and the one that it spit out was actually this Walt Disney quote. It took that same quote template and it just changed the words. The way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. But for my photography Instagram page, I'm gonna write this Instagram page features original landscape photography focusing on iconic cities around the world. I highlight stunning downtown views often captured from unique drone perspectives or elevated angles. And now a few content examples. Let's go Chicago. I'm going to click add. Then I'm going to go New York. Add that. We're going to go Paris, France. Add that. Maybe Toronto, Ontario. Add that. And now the AI agent is going to look at my content examples. Notice that they're all cities. It's going to store all of these cities. And then on every subsequent run, it's going to generate a brand new city from around the world. So for example, the next city might be Los Angeles, and then it's gonna store Los Angeles in the content examples so that it never produces another content on Los Angeles. It has an amazing memory. It remembers everything it's ever done, everything it's ever posted, so that you don't have to worry about repeats. The people that follow your page is gonna get fresh content every single day. The next section is the image prompt. So this is kind of how we want our images to look but it's also how we want the Instagram AI agent to create the content. And I'm not gonna upload any reference images here because I already described the view that I want, but I'm just gonna reiterate that view in the image prompt. So take the provided city and generate an image highlighting its stunning downtown views captured from unique drone perspectives or elevated angles. So the next section is the reference images. If there was a style that I wanted the AI agent to create around, I would upload them here. For the AI model, you can upload a bunch of images on how that AI model looks. So it has a reference point. You could also upload brand colors here, templates. You could go to popular Instagram pages, ones with lots of followers and lots of engagement. You could even take a snippet of some of their most popular posts and then upload them here so that you don't just have to describe via words, you can describe via images. The AI image models now are super intelligent and they're only getting better. They can now look at images and use a lot of the same concepts in newer ones. Then we have the caption prompt. So obviously this is the caption that goes beneath the image. The caption prompt that I set you up with was strategically created using my newest method which I like to call the best prompt ever. If you're interested in learning more about how I did this, you can check out the last video on my channel. This secret method gives you the best chat GPT prompt every single time. This is the thumbnail. I'll leave a link to this in the description below. But basically what you do, it's a two-step process. First off, you ask chat GPT to collect the most up-to-date information around the best practices about what you're trying to do. I like to use deep research to get this done. 
so it scours the entire web for tens of minutes. In this example, I asked it about the best practices for writing SEO optimized website articles. It spit out a load of information. Look how much information it spit out. Then you copy that entire answer and then you paste it into ChatGPT going, using only the following information, generate a clear optimized prompt I can feed into ChatGPT that will instruct it to write a high quality SEO article. So it reads off all of that information that you pasted it and then creates a very detailed prompt. I already did that for you for Instagram captions. How to write the best captions to get us the most reach, to get us the most engagement and ultimately the most followers. I did deep research on 2025 best practices, then I turned it into a prompt for you. So you can use this default prompt as is or you can add your own stuff in it or you can change it completely. This is fully up to you. I just want to start you out with the best possible prompt because I want you to get the best possible results with this agent. The last two things is the posting time. When in the day do you want this to post? This is in your time zone. So I'm in Toronto, Ontario right now. So it's 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're in Europe, you're going to get a completely different time. So don't worry about that. And then finally, we have the posting days. I think this agent should post seven days a week, 365 days per year. But I know some people that don't like to post on the weekends. They feel they get less engagement. It's totally up to you. You can uncheck those if you want, but I'm giving you full control. Okay, let's first click test post to see the type of post that this comes up with. So I click test post. It's going to load up here for 30 to 60 seconds. And then the image with the caption is going to appear. And then we'll check it out. And this is what we got. Just by looking at the image, I'm assuming it's Sydney, Australia. And yes, I'm correct. Sydney Harbor. It's showing the Opera House and Harbor Bridge. This is a beautiful post. I love it. We have a short, nice caption with some relevant hashtags. And if I scroll to the bottom of the page, I can see my entire output history. I can click on the result right here. And what's really neat is if I zoom in, and this is what I like about the Seadream model, it's a little blurry. It's not crystal clear. This actually looks like a drone footage. This looks like a real camera shot it. And that's what I like about this model. It doesn't have that AI polish that Nano Banana or the other image models has. This could be put off as real. You can click on the result at the bottom of the page. You can save it to your computer. You can also click the info button. This shows you all the details about that test run. If you want to reuse any prompts or if you want to save them to your own documents. This is exactly what we're looking for. I am ready to launch this agent live to my Instagram page. So I'm going to click start agent. It takes you to the workflows page. This is where you'll see all of the active and running AI agents. This is my test account. So I've just been testing a lot of the agents. Don't mind all of these, but here we go. We have a running Instagram agent. I can cancel this at any point. I can click on the info button. It's going to show my latest post. Oh, this is very cool. I like it a lot. A prompt for that post. When my next post is scheduled to be released, they're just posted to Instagram. So we have a last post link. I can click on this post. There it takes me to my Instagram page. There is the post on my page. If I go to my profile, it's right here. There it fits in with my entire page. I can view its entire output history by clicking this link. It's only posted for one day. So we have that here. And I can also edit this agent at any point by clicking the edit workflow button at the top. It takes us back to this page. We see the newest content item. So that was Dubai. So it's not going to create another post about Dubai ever again. And if I don't like anything about the prompt, how the images look, or maybe I'm going to change up my Instagram page, I can make some edits, test the output again, and then save my changes. So there we go. We have an Instagram AI agent running completely on autopilot for my page. I try to make it as easy for you to set up and so that it works for all types of niches. I didn't want to pigeonhole this agent. I really wanted to generalize it, but I'm also open for suggestions. If you don't like the content it's creating or you want different types of content or you even want help with prompting or how to set it up for your own business, hopefully I explained everything in this video but I'm just an email away. In the top right corner of the page, just click the support button, send me an email. I'd love to chat and start getting you exposure on Instagram. Let's automate this process. Let's move on from Instagram. Let's go to something else. Let's give you a chance to focus on the more important things in your business. 
like its overall position, strategy, and earning and income. If you want to try the Instagram AI agent for yourself, I'm going to leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. See ya.